So when we talk about the applications, we're talking about decentralization versus centralization and understanding the difference between the two, okay? So most financial institutions, the legacy financial institutions, they use a centralized system wherein user data can be stored and managed by this private entity. It would be a private entity or a group or even a entities or, you know, a, a larger version of that, all right? Effectively, all users connect to a single source of data in that sense, all right? So this sort of relationship is called a centralized network, all right? So what you can picture is imagine essentially a bunch of data that is stored, but it is stored all within a system where one single authority whether that's a group or whether it's one small entity, whatever that may be, it's a private authority that can decide what to do with this data. They have the control, they have the ac access of this. So a major downside, of course, to this is that it provides that single point of failure, all right? If the centralized database were to be wiped out, you know, if a bad actor got in there and wiped out all the data, everything would be lost, right? because the single entity has power over the entire system. So they can make those changes as they please. This is actually, in terms of cybersecurity, this is a major staring you right in the face blemish in something that can be, that is something which is used in most financial institu institutions as legacy. So it's really something to consider. All right. So on the other hand, in a decentralized network, data is going to be stored on different nodes and computers in the network. All right. This is decentralized and none of the nodes is managed by a central authority. All right. And this is super key to think about. So all the nodes have to still somewhat agree to trust each other. So you need to have a network which is listening and agreeing They're They are participants. So these participating nodes, are all going to have to have an exact copy of the database. All right, so what's the beauty in this? Well, the beauty in this is that if one node is down, if one of the nodes break, if a bad actor gets into one, manipulates the data, erases the data, other nodes can still provide the data, right? And this provides a redundant and resilient network that ensures a much higher level of reliability than a centralized network. And this is the power of daplications versus applications. Because when we build daplications, we are going to build our smart contracts on decentralized networks where our information is stored much more securely with a much higher standard of reliability in, in effect and in exchange, all right? So there's the power there, financially speaking, uh, in terms of blockchain technology and, and why it's so important and valuable towards the future of building our applications out. So very cool, very exciting. Hopefully this helps you to understand better between uh, the concepts of something that is decentralized versus something that is centralized. And we are going to be building, of course, decentralized together. All right.